Um, just to put it out there, I would never claim to heal anyone. Healing is something that comes from self. Um, so just to put that out there. Um, <laughs> so everything I do helps people, you know, in facilitating people and their healing. Because as we're talking about self-care, um, only you can give yourself what you need for your own healing, right? Um, everyone under the sun can support you in the different ways, but if you're not ready to take it um, and experience it and to let it nurture you and to let it in, if you're close to it, it's not going to do anything. Um, so just throwing that out there. So I'm going to be just a little bit like vulnerable. I'm going to be a little forward. Um, I don't know that I'm going to go too deep into my story. I think I'll definitely touch upon it. Um, and I might read you a poem. Are we open to a poem? Yeah. Like, okay, I'm just, you know what, like, I'm just kind of feeling it, and I'm like, why don't we just do it? I was speaking with Allison, and her energy was just like an angel, so I was like, energized from that conversation. So I would say, ask yourself, like, how frequently are you feeling energized from the conversations that you're having? And how frequently are you feeling depleted? And are you aware of the human beings, no judgments, one's not better than the other. Are you aware of the humans that lift you, and are you aware of the humans that lower your vibration? Okay? Raise your hand if you think you have an awareness of the kind of humans that lift your vibration. Okay. Okay, hands down. Raise your hand if you think you have a concept and an idea. Maybe at this time in life we're a little bit able to process the kind of humans that lower our vibration. Mm -hmm. Okay, so then I'm going to relate with you. This is what I like to do. Let's keep it interactive. So my story, I mean, I was bouncing off the walls since I came out of the womb. My mother would tell you that I literally flew out of the womb. I was like ready to go. I was like here, I'm ready. Um, and I was an accidental pregnancy, so I wasn't even supposed to be here. So how about that for <laughs> Um So... One of the things that I feel like I really moved into this world strongly was as a rebel. I'm not here to please anyone. I'm not here to be someone I'm not. I am myself. And if you don't want to be around that, that's okay. And if you do, that's wonderful. And that's the kind of attitude I invite all of you to have. Because <laughs> if you're people pleasing more often than you're being yourself, then what's the point? What's the point? Who here has felt like at a point in their life they were stuck in a chapter where they felt like they were pleasing others more than themselves? Okay, it's not shameful to raise your hand. It's not a bad thing that you just raise your hand. It doesn't make you less than that you just raise your hand. In fact, it's pretty damn awesome that you just raised your hand and felt empowered enough about who you are right now to raise your hand, so give yourself a pat on the back. Okay? So we please people because we love love. We love love, and that sent a shake through my whole left leg. We love love. We want to love what we're doing, like you were sharing earlier. What's your name again, love? Nicole. Nicole. Mm-hmm. Like, what was your name again? Jackie. I'm going to work on my memorization skills. Am I going to shame myself <laughs> over it? <laughs> no. Because what's the point of shaming myself? Does that serve anybody to shame yourself? No. It doesn't. Okay. So now we're getting somewhere. <laughs> I want to say that the, the biggest block that we face in our lives, that at least I've learned from my 28 years as a human being on this planet, in this lifetime at least, is that we waste too much time shaming ourselves. Shame, 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 all the blame. You want to know what? Anybody know anything about chakras? Like chakra system, your energy system? Okay, so if you're like, what are you talking about? It's just your energy centers. It's nothing scary. We all have them. If you want something anatomical, it's connected to your nervous system um, and all those little neuron endings. Who's ever been to that museum that you see like the whole nervous system blasted out through the whole body? Okay, that's pretty damn cool, isn't it? I saw that when I was younger and I was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Anyway, so that really stuck with me. And then little did I know, um, we'll go way back. Okay, so I must have been five. Right? I do this. I do talk. I don't know where I'm at more. I'm just channeling. This is channeled. Based off your energies. Okay. Um, so, <laughs> I was like five years old. I'm bouncing off the walls. Can you tell I can bounce off the walls? Yeah. I have a bouncy energy. It just happens, right? That doesn't mean it's better than you. That doesn't mean I'm worse than you. It just means it's who I am. Okay. So, let's get rid of any judgments that are moving through the mind. Because I know how those <laughs> come in. <laughs> okay. We're all working on that. You're not alone in that processing. Yeah. 
So five years old, I'm bouncing off the walls. <laughs> and my mom's like, you know, she's a hippie. She's from the 70s, so she's got it going. Um, and she's like, you know, she was a ballroom dancer too. She's like, I'm gonna give you a yoga book. So she gives me this little yoga book and I just remember flipping through the pages and I was fascinated by um, the poses. But then I remember and I look back and I think, what was I most fascinated about? And I have the moment of remembering the eight limb path of yoga, who knows it? Yeah, so it's okay if you don't, right? So eight limb path of yoga, there's several steps. I could talk for 35 plus minutes about it. So I'm gonna drop that conversation there. Okay, but basically it speaks to the spiritual language of life, right? Um, and so I remember being fascinated with that. And I was like, okay, this is really cool. There's something more to this. I'm not sure what this is, though. I'm going to go back to the pretty pictures. Okay. So, you know, there's a lot of talk in the yoga industry. Um, I've been a yoga teacher for 11 years. Um, and you'd probably be like, wait, how old are you then? It's like 28. Um, I look like I'm a child still, but that's fine. I'm sure a lot of you in here can actually resonate based on what I'm seeing and on. Um, <laughs> but I moved through high school dating the most toxic man on the entire planet. Go figure, because I'm an empath. Who's an empath in the house? Can we just be proud on that one for a second? Because I am like a full-blown empath, capital E, the whole lettering is capitalized, you can underline it, you can bold it. Okay. So that means that I feel energy. That means I feel what you're feeling. That means I feel what everyone's feeling. That means I feel the collective trauma of this world right now. Okay, let's just take a moment for that. Because there's a lot of shit going on. Right? And so the thing is, is that you guys got to together in this room. That's why you showed up today, right? You saw a topic you resonated. You saw people wanting to empower and lift, didn't you? So you said, oh, I'm feeling called, I'm gonna go. Right? What was your intention for being here today? Anybody wanna share? Just shout it out. Just to listen. Just to listen. I want to hear, I'm telling you, I was telling my family, there's somebody in the bathroom, you know. Um, <laughs> I told her, I was like, I want to know why people are here. What is your intention? So just shout it out at me, no shot. Let's hear it. Connection. Connection. Sharing. Networking. Networking. For myself. Learning. Keep going. I want to hear it like an orchestra. Sharing. <laughs> what would you say? Self-discovery. Self-discovery. What did you say? Fun. Okay. Share your story. I love all the things in here. Okay, so that I, I resonate with that. So now I feel like my intention is that. Who hears that intention for their day? Okay, who was like, I've never really done that before. That's interesting. Yeah? Who's like, I don't know, that kind of scares me. Okay, so all of those are fine answers. And if you didn't raise your hand, that's okay too. I love you the same. That's one of my things I like to say. I invite you to use that whenever you're feeling like you're like, oh, I just don't know. Like, if this person likes me because you care too much about other people think about you no matter how much you know that that doesn't matter, um, you still sometimes find yourself caring too much about what other people think of you because that's just part of human nature, especially the social media blasted uh, limelight that we're supposed to live in. I mean, I somehow have an organic following, and this is not to brag, this is just to be like, what the heck? like 20,000 followers on Instagram, and I'm like, how the hell does this happen? And it actually sent me into a space of depression for a little, where I was like, there's too much focus on me, there's too much pressure on me to be someone that they all want me to be, and then I had to say, no, if you unfollow me, I don't give a shit, because I'm who I am, okay? I'm not gonna post things because that's what you're expecting from me, or that's what you want from me. So if you're trying to figure out your social media game right now for being an entrepreneur or being the light that you are, don't worry about what anybody's thinking. Just be yourself on there. Because if you start to feel like you have to be someone you're not, it's going to piss you off, it's going to drain you, and you're going to be over it in like a month. Okay? Maybe sooner. Okay. Who's struggling with social media and like the whole concept? Okay. So it is like beyond a topic that I can just dive so deep into with the ups and downs that it comes with. But know that it is a tool for networking and for a lot of the reasons that you guys said you were here today. And it's how we can find experiences to be with humans. Okay, so if you focus on that, that's at least what helped me. If you focus on the social media game being something where you can actually be with humans, then it actually makes us start to feel a little bit better. Okay? And then you don't care if your numbers go up or down that day. Okay? So that's just a little something to be vulnerable for a moment. Okay, let's go back to my story. So I was in high school, and I was dating the most toxic man on the entire planet. Who can relate with that? 
Ooh, and or a woman who can relate with like I am toxic. Okay, so we know that that is what is it? Let's say you're draining. Oh my god, like yeah. <laughs> to the floor draining, right? Like to the floor draining. Okay. So when you're an empath, you're like, I'm taking it up. I'm taking it up. I want to show you. I want to help you. I love you. I care about you. Now I'm attached to you. Now I'm a chain. Now I'm on the ground. Now I can't breathe anymore. Now I've lost myself. So I went through that to go all the way back up and figure out who the hell I was. <laughs> and one of the things that we need to be really sensitive to is trauma. Something we need to be really sensitive in general is that every human has suffered trauma. Everyone is suffering trauma. Compassion for that. When there's someone in your life that you're like, I don't know, and you go right to judgment, one, don't shame yourself for that. Two, question, what is that mirror showing me? What is it about that human that's triggering me? Why, is my, why am I being triggered, right? So it's a lot of the work um, that actually led me into becoming a yoga teacher. I remember I was in um, high school and you know I made it through that whole experience of high school. And then I get into community college because I'm like, I don't know what I want to do. Like, I'll just get an associate in arts or some shit because I'm supposed to do that, right? So I'm in a yoga class on campus and I'm laying there and legs up the wall. Who's ever done legs up the wall before? Oh, good. It's so good for you. If you haven't done it before, all you do is you lay on your side, you push your sit bones against the wall. Make sure your sit bones are by the wall. And then you just bring your legs up the wall. And you can hold there for a long period of time and it actually just recirculates all the body fluids. But we're not going to talk about that. Come say class, we'll talk about it. <laughs> I'll, I'll bring it back in. Um, so I was laying there and I was like, this is incredible. Now, you have to remember, you're going to learn something about me right now. I was competitive AF. Yeah? I was like in the competitive sports, like dance and cheer and like all those things. And like, I was like, and I'll be real honest right now. I was the stoner cheerleader. I was not your average cheerleader, right? I'm being real with you. We're getting grounded, okay? <laughs> so I'm like, you know, coming from all these labels. Who resonates with labels? Yeah. Labels are either lifting or they're limiting. So be really careful with how you label yourself, okay? Um, because you are not a label. You are a soul. Let me remind you. You are a soul, and you're having a human experience, okay? Do we got that? Yeah. Okay. You might be like, get your spiritual boo out of me. You're a soul having a human experience. We all are. That's where the compassion comes in. Okay. We'll drop it back in. <laughs> I'm laying in Shavasana with legs up the wall. And I had this thought, competitive cast, was like, I think I just want to be a yoga teacher. I can do it way better than her. <laughs> Little did I know that then that led to me taking teacher training and spending a year. At the time, the programs were about a year and a half. Now they're not. Now they're like popping yoga teachers out like cupcakes. But whatever, that's a whole other topic that we can talk about at a different time. Um, but, but yeah, so you know, it's like this deep, like a rip through your heart and soul processing of figuring out who I am on multi-dimensional layers of being a human in this world and being a soul in this world. So it was like, whoa, heart strings ripped. <sighs> okay. So then that brought me into a breakup with a toxic relationship, which then I found after a training that I didn't have the community that's a word, keyword, community. I didn't have the community at the time. I didn't have the community at the time to feel empowered to stay away from him. And I was like, oh, I need people. Like, I feel like I don't have place in this world. And maybe this is too fairy for me. And maybe this is, maybe I need to go back here to be normal. Yeah. I don't want to be normal. But I did at that time. So I went and did that. And I got back together with him. And I had that toxic relationship and whatever. And it led to a divorce. Who's divorced? Can we just be proud of it? Congratulations! Woo! We got out of that shit. Okay, so <laughs> we'll drop it back in. I'm really real. Sorry if I'm abrasive in that way, but I think that's why for real rising. Who likes astrology? Okay. <laughs> We're hitting all the notes. 
<laughs> okay, so this brings me to influence. Influence. And this is the poem I want to read. And if you're open to it, I want you to drop into meditation. Instead of watching me speak, if you want to watch me speak, I'm fine with that. But if you're okay with like having a moment where you close your eyes and you drop into these words as though they were rhythms that could kind of bring out something within you that maybe you didn't know was there and just be open to it, you could try closing eyes. If you're like, it's too much for me, I don't like that scary, I like Keep your eyes open, I, I support you either way and I love you the same. So let's all just take a clearing breath. Deep breath in through the nose. Exhale, fog in here. Okay, now you're gonna inhale through the nose. And exhale with a sigh, like after a long day. Oh, oh my God, so much fun. Okay, do it one more time. Get it out. Okay. Now maybe close your eyes. Yeah. Let your natural breath kick in. I want you to let these words just flow over you in a way that inspires you, in a way that you can relate, and maybe not relate. Just be open. Patience. I wish you came more easily. You talk me down when the fires rise. You make it look so effortless, like a stallion running wild, mangled mane, grassy fields. Comparison. How you've poisoned my purity. Waters once clear, now clouded, murky. Skies once sunny, now gray lit with lightning. Land once lush, now fruitless and barren. Insecurity. I slip sideways to the floor. You hurt, you hit, you halt, you haze. Crippling creativity, stifling sensitivity, anchoring absurdity. I wish you well. Now be on your way. Procrastination. Your excuses are malice. How you steal my power. <clears throat> Planting seeds of sorrow, chaos, blame. The time disappears at the very thought of you. Motivation. Why must you waver in the winds of emotion? The hill so high, but the valley so low. I choose to surrender to your higher devotion. Ignorance. The temptation of your false bliss, the elusive realities. I remove the veil, fall witness to your destruction. How it throws me to the floor. I crumble, I cry out, no more. Conversation. I crave your insight, growth, clarity. I dread your ego. Idiocy and gossip. The meaningless, mundane, abrasive. How you shorten my attention span. Won't you choose truth and quiet your lies? Humanity. Why must you desecrate our land? I call out to the moon. I drop to the earth. I kick. I scream the darkness, the dishonor, the foolishness, the toxicity, sorrow. You held my hand, my heart. My heart that weeps, it chills, it keeps. Soft sounds of sadness, madness, frailness. Blizzards of brashness, halfness, iffiness. I curl into a ball, who can relate? I disappear, I hide away from the grief. I vanish vicariously. Spontaneity, your surprises, your serendipity. You swing me astray, not lost, rather on my way. You toss to me such grandness. Such mystery. Your potential is endless. You're feeling a rush. Minutes, hours, time disappears. Such creative freedom. We all need some of them. Change. How you set me free. Oh, but all the uncertainty. I am dizzy with endless curiosity. The disaster is your course. The transition is your force. I crave you. I resent you. I need you. I honor you. I trust you. I give in. Independence. I am under your spell. I feel strong, a sense of self-love, a longing for liberation. I thrive, your presence.
presence I survive, twinkling thoughts of hope, treacherous traction, a hoe, alas, abandoned the past. Confidence. You speak to my wounds, air them, care for them. Courageous lion, your war so royal, your loyalty so honorable. I cannot pretend I must bend or break. I falter in fear, but your strength so clear. Peace. Your poise, it graces the room. Your smile, your warmth, the snow, it melts. Passive pond, still my mind. Contagious contentment, crowded contemplation, meditation. Won't you guide me? I surrender anew. Love. Your voice sings sweetly, hymns, harmonies, magic melodies. I long for you, always attached, bound to your bounty. I sink to your feet. I'd rather be blinded by your light than jaded by the darkness. I'd rather feel you than push you. I dwell and withdraw from your absence. I thrive in the light of your radiance. Joy. I choose you. I live, I love, I trust, I seek, I see. You numb the pain, you abolish the shame. Such folly, such splendor, my muse, my mentor. You cast aside the nonsense, the violence, the noise. Through your lens, I am whole. In your arms, I am safe. Take a deep breath with that. Two more breaths, letting go of any influences in your life that don't serve you. Deep in, huh? Exhale, get rid of it. <sighs> yeah, get rid of it. One more. This is your time to be loud like when you were in kindergarten. They gave you that permission. Inhale. <sighs> That's what I want to hear. Okay, open your eyes. All is well. It's all good. We all go through it. We all move through it. We all share our lives in different ways. You have a gift that someone else doesn't have, that doesn't make you better than, that doesn't make you less than. That is important. If there's a takeaway, take that for a moment. Stop comparing yourself. You are wasting your energy. You are not this person. You're not this, you're this one. Own it, honor it, love it, feel it, embody it, okay? My story is my own. All I can do with that is inspire others. Same to you. Right? So what do we do? We choose joy. It's a flippin' choice. It's a choice. That's why it's my brain up. Choose. Choose joy. You can choose it. You want to know when you don't choose joy? When you're caught in a web. We were talking about this, Allison. I'm obsessed with webs. This is where I'll leave you. The webs, okay? You can build the web. You can get stuck in a web. You can be eaten in a web. You can eat in a web. You can knock a web down. You can build it up just as quick. It's a web. This is a web. This event is a web. There's some webs that support you that you kind of bounce off of afterwards. There's some webs you might help leave and need to leave eventually. Know your aspiration date on a project. You feel me. <laughs> know your aspiration date on a project, okay? If you're giving too much time to something and it's starting to feel the opposite of how it felt, which maybe once served you and now it doesn't, you might need to get off that web. You might need to build a new one. It doesn't mean that you don't love that project. It doesn't mean that you're not um, an advocate for that anymore or that you don't love or care about that project or that business or that person. It just means You've got something else that you want to create. You only have so much creation energy. It's in your second chakra, okay? We raise that up. We express it out through our throat. So where are you putting your energy? Take some time to sit with that. Use that energy in the ways that lift and bring you joy. Choose joy next time that you start to feel low. Start to think about it. Maybe write it down. What are ways that I choose joy, right? One of my ways is sometimes affirmations, right? We talked about that in our podcast. Mental habitat. What am I thinking about? If my thoughts are like taking over in a really negative way, I might need to flip it to a positive and start saying, I, who's um, heard of Louise Hay, You Can Feel Your Life? Oh, 
about to say oh girl but those guys in here too I love that book. That book changed my life when I was 22. I had it since I was a little girl. And I used to just flip to the golf glossary in the back and just think about all the things that it said you could be dealing with and here's the remedy of an affirmation without reading the book until I was like, I need to read this book. <laughs> right? So you're talking about chapters, right? I totally am with you on that. Life is chapters. Turn the page when you're ready. You don't like the story anymore. Stop reading it. Stop writing it over and over again. It's boring if you don't like it anymore. Get rid of it then. Flip the page. And if you had a really good one, ooh, don't overstay your welcome to the point where you don't like it anymore. Because that sucks too. <laughs> so be aware of the webs. Notice when you're in the web. Right? Notice when you need to get out of the web. Notice when you need to build a new web. Okay? We can all love spiders now. A little bit more. <laughs> conversation. I know I at least do after that metaphor came through me. <laughs> So take this with whatever you need from it. Take from it whatever you need. This whole experience, this speech right here, that poem, whatever you took from it, that was what you're here for. Okay? I hope you feel a little lighter, a little brighter. And thank you so much for listening. I appreciate you.